crafters. Welcome to the Crafty Corner. I'm Miss Lisa and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library. It's spring break week and I've got a craft for you. I want you to come on in and get this little packet and you are going to make a little picture frame that you can put anything you want. Your picture of your family, picture of your pet or whatever. So um, this is a sort of what it's going to look like when it's finished. This is the way I did mine, but you can do it any way you want. So let me show you how I did it. So in your packet, you are going to have um, craft sticks that are already in the form of a frame. And then you are going to have a whole bunch of little circles that are made out of foam. And um, we also are going to have some little flowers that have some sticky backs to it so that you can decorate your picture frame. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is find your four large circles and put those on the corners. Now you don't have to glue them yet because those really should be the ones that are glued last. And then um, my helpers at the library have decided on which colors to give each packet. So they're all gonna be a different variety and you can look at what colors you have and decide where you wanna put them. You are gonna to need to have your white glue Okay, because the white glue, this craft glue is going to be what's going to stick this foam to the craft sticks. So we're going to go ahead and lay some of these down. I'm going to put a pretty good slathering of glue here on the top. And let's see, I don't know if I want to make a pattern or if I just want to lay some of these down today, but you can do whatever you want. We have figured out that four of the circles will go across across um, each popsicle stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and slather this side. And I think I am just gonna pick them up at random today and not worry about making a pattern because it looks like we have a lot of pretty colors for this frame. Like I said, every packet is gonna be a little bit different, so don't expect exactly what I'm making or the one that I had used as my example either. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put the rest of these on this side. And then we have four more to go on the other side. So you should have a total of 16. Boys and girls, you probably know that four times four is 16. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these other ones on. And then you're gonna to need to wait, boys and girls. You're not gonna be able to put a picture in this frame immediately because these foam circles are gonna to need to really stick to the craft sticks. Okay, now to finish up with the corners, you're gonna to wanna to put a pretty good glob of glue and maybe a little bit on the two corners of the foam circles because those are gonna stick up a little bit. Oh, you can't even see that one now. But again, if you want to put the big circles all the way across the bottom or whatever you want to do, it's up to you. This is a very creative craft, so you can put them where you want them. Or you might not even want them at all. If you like them with just the little circles, you could leave it that way as well. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. Now you wanna make sure um, that you don't get a lot of glue on the top side of the foam circles because it will sort of leave a residue and you'll be able to see that um, when it dries. Now you also are gonna have some of these little stickers. You can peel the paper off the back and then stick them where you want. So I'm just gonna stick mine right there in the front. I'm sorry, in the middle of that one. This one might be hard to peel off. It's got a lot of little petals on this flower. Oh, it came off pretty well. Now, if for some reason yours do not stick, go ahead and just use the craft glue to get it to stick down. And again, I'm gonna to try to peel this one off. There we go. And then I also have this big flower that has a cutout in the middle, so I could use both of those and put them somewhere if I wanted. So like I said, everyone is a little bit different. Your picture frames will all be just so beautiful. And you know what? Mother's Day will be coming up soon, and maybe you'll want to save this for your mother. So I'm going to go ahead and put that second one there so I use them all. All right, now after it dries, the hard thing that you might um, have to do at your house is find a picture, a picture. Um, ask your parents um, for a photograph of your family or of your favorite pet. I found this one here of me with my puppy dog when he was, when he was still just a puppy. And so I'm not gonna pick up the one I just made, but you can see that when you pick up your finished picture frame and you might have to trim a photo a little bit, but you will have this beautiful picture 
um, frame and that you can have it in your house. Now to finish the picture frame off, once you have put the picture on, you might need to put another um, piece of cardstock or paper on the back and then put a little hook if you want to hang it up. Other words, it could just sit somewhere on your shelf. All right, boys and girls, I hope you are enjoying your spring break. Come and see us here at the Fayette County Public Library and pick up a craft. Thanks for watching. I'm Miss Lisa, and this has been the Crafty Corner. Bye now.